Hello and welcome to a video summarising everything you need to know when it comes to government and politics. My name is Barbara and in this video I will essentially outline the two major political parties in the US and this video is really useful if you're studying US politics as part of your coursework or exams. So let's get started. Now when it comes to understanding the political landscape of the US, do make sure that you understand the difference between the Republican Party and the Democrat Party. So let's start with the Republicans, and this is essentially the logo. Now, Republicans advocate for limited government intervention on domestic issues, but they also dominate when it comes to international relations. While on the right, Republicans are pro-military, pro-business, pro-religion, and they campaign for people to have freedoms and to take personal responsibility for their actions. Also, if, by the way, you're not entirely clear on what right-wing versus left-wing means, make sure you check out our other video where we outline the difference between right-wing and left-wing political views. Now, going back to the Republicans, do bear in mind, these are some elements of Republican Party beliefs. Of course, do go into depth when you look at our revision worksheets and so on if you want to get more information. However, these are the top five takeaways when you want to understand what the Republican Party really stands for. So firstly, always bear in mind that Republicans mostly favour rapidly increasing the military budget and they take hard lines against other international countries like Iran. Secondly, Republicans are very pro-Second Amendment, so the right to bear arms, and they support carrying concealed weapons in public. And if you want to have more information about different amendments, we have a video on this, so make sure you check that out. Now, thirdly, Republicans are generally against abortion, contraception, and things to do with the LGBTQ community in terms of their rights. And they hold, generally speaking, the belief that legalizing these things can ruin society. So they're very, very traditional in their conception of the traditional family. The fourth element of the Republican Party is when it comes to tax, they favour tax cuts for all and for the market to control the minimum wage. So they don't necessarily favour the state imposing a certain minimum wage that businesses have to give their workers. They favour more a market approach whereby it's the market and it's up to individual businesses to decide how much to pay their workers. And fifthly, Republican policies favour strong border controls and limited immigration as opposed to more open Democrats. Now, in contrast to Democrats, and as you can see, there's logo here, they are usually what we call more to the left of Republicans on many issues. But please make sure you don't confuse them with being extreme left because they don't necessarily sit that left on the spectrum. Now, for starters, Democrats support domestic social services majorly, but they are not entirely aggressive when it comes to foreign policy. Of course, this is in contrast to the Republicans. Also, being more liberal, they root for a strong government to improve social structures and support equality and communal responsibility within a country. Now, these are five takeaways to bear in mind when it comes to Democrats and their general beliefs. So firstly, they're more reluctant to use military force against other countries such as Iran, and they advocate for slow increases in military budgets. So this money, they'd rather see it spent elsewhere rather than just on military and military aid. Secondly, Democrats favour gun control laws and legislations, arguing based on the increase in the number of shootings and irresponsibility by civilian gun holders. Now, the third element is when it comes to social issues. Democrats openly support abortion as well as LGBTQ rights, as people should have the freedom of choice. Fourthly, when it comes to things like the death penalty, a majority of Democrats tend to oppose it. And fifthly, Democrats favour higher taxes for high income earners and the increase of minimum wage by the government. So they favour a governmental approach to imposing at least a basic minimum wage that all employers must follow.